If you know me to any extent, then you know that Creep is one of my favorite found footage films on Netflix. It sits right beside other greats such as Grave Encounters and VHS. I highly suggest checking those out as well. Naturally, when you're a fan of a film and you hear about a sequel, you get very excited, as was I when I heard about Creep 2. Now, by the time I got around to watching it, I nearly forgot it even came out. When I pressed play on Netflix, I went in with what I would describe as excited apprehension. I knew Blumhouse had done a great job with the first film, and I had all the fate in the world for this one as well. I just couldn't help but be a bit worried. It was going to suck. As a matter of fact, that's exactly what happened to Grave Encounters. The first was great, but avoid the second like the plague. All that aside, let me talk about why I liked Creep 2. To begin with, they came back with the main antagonist of the first film. Mark Dupas portrays Aaron once again, and I love it. I loved him then, and I love him now. He's so strange and charming at the same time. I don't think they could have found anyone better to portray his character. The protagonist, a woman this time, who the whole thing is filmed by, is a great casting choice as well. Desiree Akhaven plays the part of Sarah, our videographer who is trying to make a web series called Encounters. She follows ads on Craigslist and films her reactions with some of these people. It's a really solid way to work the plot. I feel like in this day and age, something like this is totally believable. I won't go too in-depth with this review because I run the risk of spoiling it, but I'll try my best to convince you to watch it. If you're in any way a fan of found footage films, you need to see the two creep films. They're both very well crafted, scripted, and paced. The first one manages to pull you in, and you're hanging on to every scene, just waiting to see what happens next. The second film does much of the same. The pacing was great, and the acting felt very natural. It didn't seem rehearsed or static like other found footage films. The characters in this movie didn't feel like characters. You actually get connected with them. Hell, I even felt bad for Aaron at one point, despite what his intentions were and despite the events of the opening scene. I can't say much more about it without getting into spoiler territory, so I'll leave you with this. Creep 2 is a fantastic suspense thriller, and if you don't watch it, you're missing out. So go ahead and click off this video and go watch it. But remember, be safe. <laughs>